Hey everyone, Lee Burkhardt here and welcome to our online video series. Now in case any of you haven't caught the news yet, Atomos recently announced two new products, including the Atomex SDI module and the all new Ninja 5 Plus external recorder and monitor. There's been a lot of news buzzing around about both of these lately. So on today's episode, we're going to talk about both of these products, their compatibility with existing Nauticam equipment, and more importantly, what kind of benefits you can expect from this new gear with regards to underwater filmmaking. So let's get started by taking a closer look at this new gear. The Atomax SDI expansion module is up first, and this cool little device extends the capabilities of the Ninja 5 and Ninja 5 Plus by adding 12G SDI inputs and outputs. To accommodate this new SDI module, Nauticam has created a brand new housing, the NA Ninja 5S. The housing is completely identical in terms of installation, control layout, and features as the existing Nauticam Ninja 5, but has an extended back to fit the Atomax SDI module. By the way, if you're curious in learning more about the Ninja 5 monitor, or the original Nauticam NA Ninja 5 housing, we have a great video below that explains many of the monitor's assist features, external recording options, and of course more details on the housing, so be sure to check that out in the video description below. What's great with this new housing design, however, is you can now route both HDMI and SDI capable cameras to your Ninja 5 device using the Atomax SDI module. As an added bonus, the module also offers HDMI-SDI conversion. So for example, you can now feed an HDMI signal into the Ninja 5 from your camera, and then an SDI signal out from the Ninja 5 to something like a director's monitor at the surface of the water. So this is a real game changer for anyone using underwater camera and housing combos that only have access to HDMI as HDMI is often very unreliable at long lengths, but with SDI, you can reliably run a connection at well over 30 meters. Nauticam actually already supports this underwater as well, with SDI surface feed cables available in 15 meter and 45 meter lengths, and it's super easy to set up. First, you'll want to configure the Ninja 5 settings. Before starting this, ensure you've installed the latest firmware for your Ninja 5. There's an Atomos link below with instructions for downloading this and installing it. Next, power on the monitor. Go to the output settings menu. Ensure that the monitor is seeing an SDI output signal. Under the output options, toggle the 4K to 2K output to either on or auto. Depending on your monitor brand, we've had different signal compatibility using both of these settings. Lastly, you can configure any HDR output settings and time codes to your gear and preferences. With the monitor set up, open the housing by rotating the locking latch counterclockwise. Install your internal SDI cable to the included Nauticam SDI bulkhead. Plug the internal HDMI cable into the HDMI output on the Ninja 5 monitor. Install the monitor into the housing and move all three locking latches into the lock positions. Plug the other end of the internal SDI cable into either of the two SDI BNC style connectors on the Atomax SDI module. And then close up the housing by rotating the locking latch clockwise and back into the lock position. Lastly, just plug in your Nauticam SDI surface cable to the SDI bulkhead on the NA Ninja 5S housing, and you're good to go. If you're interested in setting up a surface feed with other monitor and camera housings, we have a great article that explains all of the equipment needed to do this, and you can find that in the video description below. So now on to the all new Ninja 5 Plus monitor. This new monitor has all the same features of the existing Ninja 5, but adds some new really exciting recording options with 4K 120 frames per second and 8K 30 frames per second external recording, all available in 12-bit ProRes RAW. Now this is a big step up, as the original Ninja 5 only offered this at a max resolution of 4K and only at up to 60 frames per second. ProRes is an excellent codec to work with in post-production, and we've talked about its many benefits in the past. It's optimized for many different editing programs, and offers significant improvements to performance and render times with the right computer hardware. 
Plus, with the RAW recording, you'll have lots of flexibility in post-production for adjustments to both color and exposure, as you can see from a few of the examples here, captured with the A7S III and the original Ninja 5. At the time of making this video, Zcam currently supports this over HDMI 2.0. And Canon has already announced a firmware update for the R5 that's scheduled to be released in late 2021. The current R5 is a bit handicapped due to the heating limitations set by the internal recording. So this update will be a huge benefit for R5 users, essentially turning the camera into an extremely capable 4K and 8K RAW recording camera. And without any kind of heating issues, I might add, thanks to the external recording options. We expect other manufacturers will be making compatibility announcements as well, so stay tuned on the Atomos site for updates, or just contact us directly if you have any questions. So now onto the question I'm sure most of you have been waiting on. Does it fit in the existing Nauticam housing? In fact it does. The Ninja 5 Plus is a direct fit with the NA Ninja 5 and Ninja 5S housing. And the touchscreen control layout is also the same. So existing Nauticam owners and new ones will have the option for using the Ninja 5 Plus in either of these housings. I've placed a link to this new housing in the video description below, along with links to the Atomax SDI module and the new Ninja 5 Plus monitor, so be sure to check those out. Of course feel free to leave any questions in the comments section below, or just contact our staff directly. And to check out more of our other articles, videos, or content, you can visit our website and just click on the Learn tab funnel on the top of the home page. Well, I think that's going to wrap this one up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more cool videos to come soon, and we'll see you on the next one.